your media, where you are. Welcome to Mask Off with Brett and the Sex. I'm going to do this now. Pew, 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 pew. I feel like that we actually should have gotten a drum set. I always no, say this. I'm so tired of this chat. No, but like, I get it because where now, is the drum? We're gonna be. I gotta be talking about African music today, oh, so we should have been like. It's clear. One thing is clear: the alcohol is not out of his system. It's <laughs> what. I don't deserve these things. I don't deserve these things. That time I've got an ailment. Okay, so please. That's you calling <laughs> your own fucking self-inflicted pain an ailment. No, I've been struggling since no, Sunday. That, no, that note I'll leave No. Please don't listen to Brittany. She has like an agenda against me. I don't, guys. My she agenda's does. always peace, eh? She's a fire sign. But I still want peace. Our birthdays are two days apart. I want peace. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Apparently. Yeah. Um, okay. Obviously, we both Sagittarius's or whatever. But November Sagittarius and December Sagittarius are different types of Sagittarius. And you know what? I'm seeing it because my friend, Sarah, that birthday is two yeah. days before yours in November. You guys have similarities. Whereas I, I don't know. I come with the spirit of December. What? We're literally two days apart. Doesn't matter. Two. <laughs> it don't matter. She's not even a full on. She was just there by mistake. Nothing. I'm sure coming, it's not by mistake. <laughs> in fact, in fact <laughs> dog, you know when like things are ordained by God. By I'm telling Lord you, Jesus. they made sure that it today's the day that this bitch is coming into the world. Or yeah. What? yeah, how are you doing? Ah oh, man, I'm good. I'm good. You what know, you've been doing. What's been happening? What's I mean, been on your mind. Besides being called a coloured when Brittany was sitting next to me. That's it. That's it. This guy says, um, I don't mean, sorry guys, I don't mean to be racist. To a table full of black people and one colored hen who's sitting in the corner. You can't miss her. She's literally. I'm not even in the corner. He's actually standing he, right he, by he, me. Right, actually. right by you. He's standing right next to you. And she glows in the dark at night. Okay. <laughs> all right. It's these jokes for me, man. They're not even funny. Sis. <laughs> they walk out. <laughs> Okay, so now, now, now you want to take it far. Dude. I'm just joking. I'm <laughs> the Albino community will hate you, my it's boy. Hey, I get stuck. <laughs> and Renat, show me how you doing. I'm good. I'm good. Um, I've been fine. I've been great. Your Kendrick Lamar is rocking my soul. Hey. Every morning I wake up and I listen to him. I listen to him throughout the day, actually. I feel like that album has just, it's just, do you know what was crazy? Yeah. I was talking to my friend, I was like, dude, have I not been speaking about some of the things that like are on this album? She's yeah. like, my boy, I'm telling you, you're supposed to, I'm like, I'm telling you, I was, I've been waving on this man for years. I'm just really enjoying this do, album. Do you like, think we'll, to me. do you ever, do you think we'll ever get that J. Cole, Kendrick, collab? You know what I'm saying? That we've all been waiting for. Yeah, I, Weren't I, on, on that one song? They, they've they been on each other's no, songs. No, but apparently they, they were supposed to have an album together. But it's fine. We'll ask our artists. I don't know. I feel like Kendrick's just so... Like, he's just somewhere else, man. Someone was saying that, that J. Cole makes music for broke boys. <laughs> And yeah, I was I'm like, not, I'm not uh, about the J. Cole hate. I'm, 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 here, I'm not I'm, hating J. Cole. I'm, I'm here just saying J. that's Cole. what someone said. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Mm. People were saying a lot of things. Since Laugh- Kendrick's dropped. J. Cole is laughing in Dreamville, baby. <laughs> yeah, so he really is. I'm you about I'm J. Saying, Cole. Yeah. Someone was saying something on the weekend um, mm. when I went out. And they're like comparing Drake. <laughs> you know, whenever these rappers drop, we always have to compare them. I'm so tired. It can just be one of one, man. Kendrick's his own man. Yeah. Can't be comparing him to Drake. Drake. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Drake. Drake. Polo, da. Dog. And then they He's said they like, Drake's music and the way Drake releases music, Drake's like a polo. He's, <laughs> He's like a VW. He's everywhere. Kendrick's like a Rolls Royce and we were dying <laughs> because we're like, actually, Drake's everywhere, boy. He's fucking <laughs> everywhere. He literally is everywhere. He's even in, um, <laughs> has, Wives, husbands, wives, DMs, and some you need some excitement in your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake has been like a typical life. Yeah, today, but I yeah. think I'm gonna enjoy the show because we're gonna be talking about. Oh, like, yeah, let's actually, gonna, we, we let's talk about what we're talking about. So today, yeah. it's about music. It's about music, but specifically like African music, just mm. the African experience, you know, from our own lens. Yeah, from our guest own lens. We won't say who it is yet quite annoying but he'll be on here yeah he's been trolling us since he got here the biggest troll (laughs) the biggest troll i love him to death but the biggest troll no he came in gas queen you 
Gus Quinch. Shady. You? Shady, but we love him. <laughs> so that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Who would you say is your, like, because this is a musician and in this in this space or, like, in the terms of an artist, mm. would you say is, like, one of your favorite African musicians or artists? Yo, I think it's, it's, it's a little bit broad for me because so there's, there's really many. And, I mean, look, I was really influenced by jazz. So I'm going to say Abdullah Ibrahim, oh Don God. Laka. You know, those are the guys that, you know, you know, must never forget Fela Kuti. You no, know no, oh, fully. Fela Kuti on the vibes. Hey. Um, Miriam Makeba, yes. Judas Supuma. Hey. Yeah, I'm saying. Hey, maybe, maybe he can, maybe he can. Maybe sign he maybe can be the feature <laughs> or what? My maybe. friend actually. No, because we're gonna tell him that. actually she needs a young feature. I need a young feature, guys. I wanna hear her. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. But yeah, man. Oh, wow. And when I was probably like similar vibes. Similar vibes, dog. Similar vibes. Yeah, but then also, mm. um, I think also what I really missed, what I do miss is the Motoko sound. Guys, double H. Shame. I'm not going to lie. You've actually been speaking about this for a while. I've been speaking about this for a while because I feel like we're not getting the musical experiences that we deserve. I'm sick of hearing all I do is win. (laughs) Win, win, win. You know what, guys? It's it's time to let go of 2017. (laughs) It's not the same anymore. Wasn't I like 19 when that song came out? I'm definitely 30. I'm 30 years old now, guys. I'm 30 years old. I'm I'm exposing my age. I'm still in my 20s. Why am I still still dancing to the same music that I was listening to when I was at Latin Nova? That place doesn't even exist exist <laughs> like the music must die with the i don't mind all i do is win at like five o'clock but please don't start a stick because you're nay get five o'clock <laughs> oh okay that was me <laughs> not the tokoloshi <laughs> guys it's the recurring theme of tokoloshi for me dude let it go friend i don't I'm know what let it go. To you, I'm let it go. go yeah i'm dead but I'm glad that, like, you know, in terms of the music industry, we've got so many different genres. Right. Like, your neo soul is great. You've got your jazz, hip hop, your fusion house. And you know what? Like, the I've UK been enjoying, guys. like um like, like, this techno yeah. house these this days. Te- ne- like, what? Go, go. I went to some group with my friend, and we were just there like, da, da. with our feet, boy. It, I was it, like, what? I'm telling I've you. I've needed this for a while. I'm telling you. So, we need, like, experiences that give us that kind of music as well. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, I want to listen to Ghana in the in the in the club. Like you know, I went to a club. I wanna in listen Santa. to Kendrick everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it sounds so bad. Like I'm okay, no, crying. No, no, like I, I, I really can see myself God, dancing this to album, Rich Spirits. This album Oh bitch I'm attracted. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Hey. Oh, but other one that I love what's that other song? What? Um push these niggas off me like uh, push these niggas off me like uh, ah. you know which song that she introduced me to <laughs> blow my high oh yeah na, 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 na. Uh, pussy Hashem, ass one thing about niggas me. One i thing can about fuck with me. y'all I'm like <laughs> one thing about me dog i know kendrick's whole thing no you do no she's, a, she's a kendrick fan so kendrick if you're watching <laughs> you're come listening. to the show mate <laughs> We'd love to have you as a guest. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, but back yeah. back to the whole back okay, moving away from us and back mm. to like, you know, the show today yeah. about African music, the African mm. experience. Um, I can't wait for our guests to be on so that we can hear about something that they did recently as well. Yeah. In terms of like a whole festival mm. in I think it was two countries. Yeah. You know, neighboring countries. What would you say? This is just a question to you, what would you say mm. is your one of like what's some of the best experiences you've had as an African or as a South African? A South African, let's be specific. Africa's la- broad. We can't be like, Africa's I speak broad. for Africa. Um, honestly, is going, I think one of my favorite things to do is to go to Ooh. a festival, right? But I think the one for me, I think it was in 2018, the Fagu Gesi, um, music and digital what what experience um in brom mm-hmm. on the court street they shut the streets down and they gave us different stages with different kinds of music so it was the first time masego came down to south africa to perform oh, yes. so like there were so many different like artists there and i like that because i don't want to listen to one type of like sound the whole time like and i also want to that's why i'm killing my friend right now guys she loves it but she can't take six hours anymore <laughs> please shoot me but yeah like that's literally so for you me. enjoy like just the type of festivals we have yeah 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 and i would say 
I just like that we like joyful people mm. as South Africans, as, as as Africans as well. And we've gone through a lot of debauchery from other countries and yeah. we know the stories. I mean, we don't have to get into it. It's not a deep episode. Mm. Maybe another thing that I'm enjoying is that we just laugh at everything as South Africans. That's all we do. That's all we do. That's all we do. But you know what? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I've got another question for you. But that's just... Okay, yeah, do you like us saying... As South Africans, we just find everything funny. We don't deserve it's the like internet. It's a, it's, a ga- it's a great experience to be South African because we laugh at everything. But boy, we traumatize. What else are but we, we supposed to do? We're laughing at everything. <laughs> the trauma, the good times, the bad times. I don't even think there's any good times to laugh about anymore, if you're being honest. No, honestly. Honestly, everything is a joke now because our country is a joke. It's been run by clowns. But we anyway. are all <laughs> pew pew at the ANC. That's a direct sub. <laughs> pew, pew. Even to the DA, what was that Oak doing in, in everyone? In, everyone in, right in now. Ukraine when he's got the Cape <laughs> Flats and Kyalicha in his background to survey. But anyway, this is not what this is about. <laughs> oh my word, it went far. Okay, I think it's time for us to intro oh, to get our guests um, yeah. on the panel. Mm-hmm. Our crazy guests. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Hey everybody, you're out here hanging out with Fake I know your favorite African boy. I'm currently on the Moscow show with my two least favorite ladies, Lesejo and Brittany. And we might just spill some tea. We back, and 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 we he wants us to go. He wants us to name him or call him by his stage name, Fake Ano, mm-hmm. and not the name that we know him by. Which okay. is what? What did? What do you guys know me by? African boy. African boy. No, we don't know you by African boy. <laughs> no, we don't. Ano. Ano. This is our guest, guys. Welcome, our guest, Ano. Woo! What it do, baby? What it do, baby? What's poppin'? How are you doing? I'm so great. Wait, wait. <laughs> My scoff. <laughs> I'm great, guys. How are you guys doing? Oh, man, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm so excited I don't to be here. Us to drink. Yeah. He, I thought he, the reason why we put them in red cups <laughs> is so that people don't know we're drinking. And you just went right there, exposed us. Water. I mean, this is the first time. Water. We, this could be anything. There could be anything. It's yeah. liquid. No, I get it. No. Oh, oh, I mean, oh, I know, I know things our podcast is the club. Mega funny as we repeat. Clink, 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 clink. I know kills me. We walked in here and there's those vases downstairs that are blue and white. She's like, who ordered the asshole? And he pointed to those vases. I'm like, this is the yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> I only asked for the drinks because of how I know you guys, but uh-uh, not gonna, no. it's, not, it's not about <laughs> them, I guess. It's really not about us. I'm even country. crying. <laughs> How are you gonna do this? To we me? haven't even really even started. <laughs> Bro, it's the fact that you said that there's savannas in my fridge. <laughs> oh <God. laughs> if you have <laughs> our dear friend here on any sort of social media, name drop. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about. I'm so dead. Oh, I'm fuck. so dead. But Tequila how are you doing? Queen. How are you doing? Uh, I'm okay. I'm all right. Um, what month are we in? We're in May. In May. In, mm. We're actually towards the end of May. Actually. Yeah. I feel like this year has just been moving fast. M- maybe it's better. For who? <laughs> For all of us. <laughs> For who? I wake up one month as May, following month as like April, and I'm just like, yo, a lot of things are happening. Yeah, right? Things are moving a bit quick. And May actually like sped by very yeah, quickly. Yeah, it's June in two weeks. Yeah, guys, but May's a quick month. I feel like we forget about May. We really forget about it. We really it. do. Yeah. We really, really do. Yeah, um, but true. also, when are you at Vic Falls now, now? You know what I'm saying? We Cutting it up. Dude, I'm not going to lie. Dude. That festival it gave me like a vibe. It did. And he's like, just come. I'm like, my boy, if I could come, I'd be there. <laughs> but I can't. She don't want to come. Tell us about this festival. Like, was it in, like, how did it, like, how did it work? Because it was in two different countries, right? Yeah. Okay. So, this was the second installment, though, right? Because you've had something similar before, like last year. No. Okay. Well, when it comes to Vic Falls, the yeah. first time I've done Vic Falls. Okay. Um, I don't know how to start the Vic Falls story because, like, there's so many, like, layers s- to it, like situations of how I got into it. So, like, um, give us a summary. A quick summary. <laughs> yeah. One day. I wake up after a night out, mm-hmm. you know, get out, procedure. get out my room, you know, I have a hangover. I'm thinking, mm-hmm. let me find something I can just fix this hangover with or mm-hmm. make some coffee. And then there's a dude sleeping on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool, dude. What's up? You know, yeah. greet the guy, go outside, open a drink, 
this dude then you know joins me outside mm -hmm. and then he's like hey i also have a hangover i'm like okay <laughs> were we together last night <laughs> like did you go out with me actually who are you i haven't even gotten there yet because i'm still like whoo i'm trying to gather myself and then i start speaking to him mm -hmm. and then it turns out he's the same dude that started rocking the daisies like actually oh, started yeah. it oh damn yeah like he started it that's dope and he tells me, he's, at that time when I was with him, he had just sold it. So he's telling me that, yo, dude, I just sold Rocking the Daisies. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to go start something and I'm going to take over the Vic Falls Carnival mm -hmm. in Vic Falls. So I'm actually on a trip to go do that. And I passed by here because my cousin stays here. So I'm like, oh, you're my cousin's housemate. That's why you're on my couch. Okay. Um, I'm not even going to ask which cousin. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and then after that, he's like, you know, we got along. And then when... COVID happened and we couldn't have the carnival and then 2022 was the first year we could have the carnival and he's yeah. moved it from being a New Year's Eve carnival. So yeah, because that's what it used to be. Yeah, yeah, and it's the 10th edition, so now he's done it and he's like, because I was trying to have a New Year's festival last year, mm. Afro Flag, I think that's what yes. you were talking about. Yes, And then he, he's like, dude, just come join us and this thing, let's do Botswana, let's do Zim, let's just oh, do the whole thing together. Sorry. And I was like, cool. And then the... Because it was kind of last minute, a lot of things didn't work out because, I mean, there were a lot of pressures. The first festival that he's done since COVID. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of, like, teachable moments. Yeah, yeah there's going to be a lot of, like, awkward moments. But then things started working out week off. I actually didn't even know if I was leaving week, week off. I think I told you that. Yes, I was yes, like, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know if I was... was like, I don't think, I don't mm. know. I'm yeah. Like, boy, go. Like, go. Yeah, and then go. Thursday night, I booked my flight. The festival starts on Friday. I arrive on Friday, and you it's a mess. Like, people are running around. Things aren't yeah. together. This dude is looking for me. I'm looking for him. I'm actually on the same flight as Boiti, right? right? And then before I get on my flight, I text him. I'm like, Boiti's here. And he's like, uh, Boiti, is Shasha there? And I'm like, Shasha's not here. He's like, is Gubs and Pori there? And he's like, I'm like, they're not here. And he's like, who's there? I'm like, Master KG and Boiti on the flight. And he's like, okay, cool. And Gubs and Pori were originally the headliners of the whole entire festival. Yeah, so yes. I don't know if you guys saw on social media. Like yeah, we saw the socials. Yeah. I, saw, I, I had just, FOMO. I just watched his, I watched dog, his stories. His stories. Like the little, little dog <laughs> name. I'm like, yeah. was inside. I'm up. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah. So I had a good time. I had so much fun. I was doing whatever I wanted. Yeah. Look like you're having fun, my no. friend. Yeah. Wait, I wanna, uh, all I Someone even proposed. <laughs> yeah, yes. there's a dude that proposed on stage. As we're thinking, like, the festival's over and, like, mm -hmm. the last DJs are about to come and play, this dude comes on stage. He's a he's a Zim artist. Okay. And then he takes out a ring. And then he does the whole proposal. And we're like, what? what? Personally, I'd never. <laughs> I'd <laughs> never. <laughs> I'd <laughs> never. <laughs> but I also get why he did it because, yeah. you know, he explained to me later on. And yeah. I was like, Sweet. love, dog. It's public. You know, when someone I don't loves know, you public, guys. It's kind of like really it's it's something could happen. She could say no, and now you embarrassed the front of the. Did you see the McDonald's? The McDonald's <laughs> proposal. But also, who are you? What? I'm not gonna say yes if you propose to me at McDonald's. Please. Yeah, but some chick said yes at KFC, and then KFC paid for the entire wedding. But they were a couple. This guy looks like he just came to McDonald's. That's the difference. Yeah, <laughs> that lady right. looked like she was shopping. She got her food, and yeah. then she actually looked like she didn't even know who this exactly. nigga was. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Come on, the difference. I'm waiting for my Big Mac. Why are you on your knees? <laughs> yeah, that was that's hilarious. Trying to get some fries. Get some fries. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, but Vic Falls was great, and then, um, yeah, it was like the whole weekend, and then mm -hmm. I stayed an extra two days just yeah. so I could relax and breathe, mm -hmm. and we had, and so on the Friday night, it was meant to be Cubs and Puri as the headliners with Master KG. They didn't come, so they're currently getting sued for not coming. Oh. This is Yo, not the, this, this is, is not, the this, this is not, this is not the, the this, this is also not the first time <laughs> that, this that yeah. this has happened with um, those m artists mentioned, because... I so mean, I'll say the names, Gabs and Bori. <laughs> 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 and you're standing in. And you're standing in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, this is not the first time they're being sued for not um, showing up. Wasn't it also like a month ago as well? They were supposed to do another gig. They didn't show yeah. up. Yeah. Personally, look, now that I'm on like the event organizer yeah, side and I yeah. kind of understand the logistics that went behind, like putting it all together yeah. once in a day, I feel super disrespected that yeah. they didn't show up. Yeah. You know? yeah. And they need to stop doing that. Don't take gigs. And don't take the money. That's I think yes. that's where like where they Whoa. they took it for. Yeah. I feel like need a beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> No, but generally, like, but don't take money if you're not gonna do the job. Yeah, exactly. You know? It's just it's principle. Don't eat yeah. It's yeah. principle. Yeah. Bread, dog. You know? And I love them. I think they they talented. Yeah. You know, they create. You know, which was the point of booking them. Yeah. But like, if you're not gonna show up, just refund. Don't make it a big deal. Exactly. You know, keep it moving. Keep moving. True. Yeah. yeah. True. I think I think for the viewers, I know because I mean now we spoke about. Like, you know, the Vic Falls 
mm. first of all, definitely going to the next one. Like, yeah. So, sure. so she says. No, 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 we inside. Oh, definitely. <laughs> but boy, do you know me? You know me. Uh, we didn't have a podcast true, together. True, 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 Number true. one. Anyway, I think like for our viewers, like who is Anno? Who is fake Anno? Who is Anno? Like, uh. just give us some background. Because you know you do many things. Besides yeah. being an events and a festival organizer, what and else do you do? You know African that you're artist. Boy. I don't know what. I, what <laughs> it's the food thing. It's the food thing. It's the food thing. You know what I'm saying? I was starting to introduce him. I was like, hey guys, I'm fake. I know. African do. boy. And, and, you, and you need to be shirtless like Donald Glover. We into that thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you do it really. And do it. Actually, that's a good yeah. idea. I might take that from me. <laughs> um, your eyepieces. You know what I'm saying? Straight under your nose. I mean, 100% for plagiarism <laughs> on my side. <laughs> Turn it in. Turn, Turn it, it in. in. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are dumb. I'm ah, going to joke. I might just choke. Oh, don't do that. Um, who am I? What? what okay, cool. Um, yeah, like some background. I mean, tell us things that we know. Like a shop. You're an artist. You're you sing. You rap. You like it. Yo, I sing a rap. Yo, she's making me sound so lame, guys. No, I mean, dude, I yeah. mean, tell us. Get Juicy J. Also, things Jesus we don't Jake. know about you. Yeah. Like, um, say. Yeah. So. I'm like, I've always been a musician. Mm -hmm. Like, for people that know me from like when I was a kid, I've always known that like I've always been a musician. Mm -hmm. So, hey guys, my name is Ano. Full name, Ano Tidaishi. Okay. Are you guys gonna try to say it? Ano Tidaishi. I'm not trying, man. Why are you, you not? Say, say, say it again. Guys, I'm already getting smoke for being mixed race cutted. Now you guys wanna Dude, add on to it? It's my name. Ano. Say it again. Ano Tidaishi. Ano Tidaishi. Yes. Yeah, okay, boom. It. Okay, well done. It means God loves us. Aww. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's a nice, it's a beautiful that's name. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's, kind of, that's, so, that's so kind. Bitch, we're um, giving you a dab. <laughs> I, I don't know. You guys said, oh, I don't know what was on, but I, I kind of paused. I was like, this is like, I mustn't say anything. Um, yeah, I'm originally from Zim. Um, I moved here when I was, what, 2001? Mm -hmm. So I was five. Okay. I moved to SA when I was five. I grew up in Midrand. Yes, these are Mid things city. that people don't know about me. You see, like, I'm starting to like reveal things. <laughs> I, I went you, wondered, to you wondered who started the camp chairs and couches. <laughs> 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 no, that's not a real thing. Um, and yeah, I've always been into music. I play like a couple of instruments. Um, you know, creatively, I'm just trying to always express myself in different ways. And I think I got the balls to be an artist only in like 2020. 2019? Shout out no, to you. Shout out to you. I wasn't like the artist. I was like in a group. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Okay, like, yeah. I was part of the group. Always. You know, I was doing like the, the admin, business yeah. stuff, booking some gigs, doing yeah. it. And I, you know, I always wanted to be an artist, but I just never had the balls because it's kind of like a hard thing. No one ever just motivates okay. you to be like, yay, dude, Do go. You. Yeah. But I feel like since I've known you, which is prior to 2019, you've always had that artist vibe. You know what I'm saying? I'd look at you and be like, damn, that's an artist. Yeah. Yeah, but then people say that, and then you and your beard at home, and you've written the song, and you're like, oh, I don't know if they're going to like... You know, you go through, like, a whole lot of psychological stuff, and then, boom. Eventually, I was like, yeah, let's do it, and then we did it, and now I'm here, sitting with oh, you guys. Uh, so, dope. I know, you do, You normally, like, you know, your Zim, and Zim music is normally very inspired by Jamaican kind of sound. Yeah, you know? dancehall vibes. Dance, like yeah. full on dancehall. If you look at your Buffalo Soldier, like, yeah, you know. So your, yeah. your sound is not that. It's like, I, I feel like it's a little bit more afro beatish, but there's something, there's an element that's a little bit different to that. So like, yeah. who inspired you for your sound? What would you actually s call your sound? Mm. You know, like in terms of a genre. Ooh, like a genre. Okay, yeah. so I'm trying to do this thing where I'm calling the sound Southern Beats. Okay. So it's like afro it's the Afro beats, but like you all know that Afro beats is centered around Niger and, and Ghana, Ghana and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, and the southern side, obviously, everything's more up tempo. I mean, like mm. we dance a lot this yes. side, and that's why there's dance and Zim and all that kind of stuff because yeah. there's that sound there. So I'm trying to like put all that stuff together, mm. but then make it just cool. Yeah, you know, so like southern beats is just like a cooler version of mm -hmm. like everything just being calmed down. I mean, like, I have some dancehall songs, yeah. but even those are, like... There's a, there's a, there's a different element yeah, to it. It's not, yeah. it's, not too, it's, not, it's not too African, but it's yeah. also not too South African, and it's also, like, got, like, an R&B element. Yeah. yeah. But that's just, like, from, like, my music taste. So, like, I... So, Southern Beats. 
Yeah, that's what so I'm trying to call it. So you're creating a genre, essentially. I'm trying to. It's so awkward because in the start, I was like, yo, I'm going to put it on my bio. I'm going to yeah. like Southern Beats artist. I'm going to put it on all my bios. And then each time I tell people about it, they like, doesn't hit. Like, people don't really get it. Yeah. So I don't know, like, maybe the more music we release or the more music I have out, mm-hmm. then, like, the, the sound will start, like, becoming something. Because, for example, like, Afro Beats Beat. hasn't always been this Beat. cool. Yeah. yeah. Like, it used to be... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Chop my money, <laughs> chop my, my money. money. It was all these dance moves, yeah. and then like only what is recently. That? P squared, chop my, my money. money. Oh my shit, chop my money. money. Yeah, it was like. Some Indian shit. <laughs> I've been watching too much. That's like, what? What? I've been watching too much Z World. You're on Z World. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but like then eventually good. Afrobeats all calm down and like yeah. now you have I'm in a big mood and like hey, everyone hey, feels sexy, yeah. women are whining their ways yeah. and like yeah. that's what I wanna like I wanna create that coolness like Dope. yeah. I, I feel like it's actually very similar to Gemini's new album. Like Gemini Gemini Major Gemini yeah. Major, yeah. yeah. His new album which he released early was it earlier this year? Yeah. Like, that is an album EP, but his sound is also like completely different to what he used to do. Yeah. It, it gives it's me the still. same vibe as, as what, your yeah. African boy. Like I music. mean, I've had like, so I had like some sessions with him as yeah. well. Like we did a session at the Universal Music Writing Camp mm-hmm. and we're actually talking about this because obviously he had like, he has done all this SA hip hop, mm. whatever, whatever, whatever. And, and he's also Zim, right? No, he's no, he's from Malawi. Malawi. He's from Malawi. Yeah. Almost the same thing. But yeah. Ha <laughs> 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 listen to that. No, like, I feel like in Southern <laughs> Africa. <laughs> not in Southern Africa. You don't Africa, catch that smoke, it's already bad for us. That's cool, you're not South Africans, but like, you know, yeah. Malawi, she speaks Chichewa. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's like Kalanga and stuff like that in Zim, which is yeah. similar languages. I mean, like, we even share artists like Thomas Mafumo and which you guys don't know, Alec Manchester and them. Alec Manchester speaks Chichewa, but he's a Zim artist. Oh, okay. you know, And like he inspires a lot of the stuff that we do. Um, but yeah, speaking of Jim and I, mm-hmm. and we're having this conversation and we're just talking about like, we all got distracted when making music because of like globalization and mm. like America telling us what's cool, mm-hmm. that we kind of like got lost in track and you know, like our talents got lost in that kind of conversation. Yeah. And now it's just a matter of like, representing ourselves and actually expressing ourselves with like real um with real stuff like with real music i'm not a gangster so there's no point in me <laughs> rapping <laughs> about rapping about like the life the you know what i'm saying you like i'm not like, yeah. rap about aldo's you don't even live I, in aldo's i don't even live in aldo's she doesn't even live in aldo's like, you know like and the people in aldo's aren't even rapping about aldo's you know you know but there's like real things that we experience like living coming from one country, living in a different country, yeah. there's diaspora, there's all these sounds and all these things that affect you and all these things mm-hmm. that come to play. I love hip-hop. Hip-hop yeah. is my favorite genre to listen to. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys were talking about the Kendrick album earlier, right? Yeah, yeah I love it. Oh, boy. Hey, I love it. Good job, I listen to Rich Spirit every good morning. Job, like, that's what I wake up with. You see, but you see, Rich, so Rich Spirit... Mm-hmm. Funny enough that you bring that up. I've got 10 faves <laughs> and I can name them all. Imagine that's, that's almost the whole album, dude. I know, but that's yeah. how great it is. Um, that bass line sound that Rich Spirit starts with that yeah. dong, dong. I was when I first heard it, I was like, Oh, it's Kendrick doing Afrobeats. I got excited. I was like, Is he about to do Afrobeats? And then he went into rapping, which was like still cool, yeah. but then but I th- it's different. But it's different. It's different. I don't know if you guys have heard, like, there's a lot of like drum type sounds in this album as opposed to previous albums yeah. and then also made the correlation in my mind I'm adding one plus one okay in. rap genius <laughs> rap I'm really not but I mean genius. like I'm really like you know one thing that I like about Kendrick's music for instance yeah. is that it speaks to the culture he doesn't make music that's not impactful there's a message that he's sending but what I picked up is is he not in Ghana no. He is. Yeah. And like, look at like, okay, he's in Ghana using drums and stuff. So like, he's really coming yeah. back to like, you know what I mean? And moving th- towards Africa. And that's yeah. the point I was making with the whole Gemini thing is that like, we're out here trying to become them, and meanwhile they they're like, oh my god, this we is where this, this is, is where, where we, we come from. Come, come back to the roots. motherland. Yeah. So we like, come back to the motherland. And that's the reason why hip hop generally sucks right now. You know, yeah, like general hip hop music sucks because it doesn't have like the authenticness of like where it began. Yeah. Like Zulu Mbamba and the guys that actually started hip hop, they were referencing a lot of Africa and mm-hmm. their music. And now no one's doing that because we it think it wasn't cool. It wasn't yeah. cool. We just can remember how they portrayed us in the world. It's, it's <laughs> dusty. <laughs> yeah, it ain't dusty. It flies around us like it's just a mess. That's what they, that's yeah. what they portrayed us. Yeah. yeah. So, but really musically, it's not like that. Yeah, Creatively, it's not like that. Like we're really, we're really talented. Yeah, we really are. We're better than them. So who do you who who actually influenced your music? Mm. Um, so it was my taste. So I 
in high school, mm -hmm. I was a rebel. So that... Rebel squad, we can see, we, we can see any fringe. Uh, uh, <laughs> it would have been made for Come you just made me tatos. You gave me a whole fringe. <laughs> Yo, the tea is too much. <laughs> you gave me Actually. a whole fringe. <laughs> I was going to leave you alone. <laughs> but you did it to yourself, sis. Imagine, I'm um, here. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, had it for Cut that out. <laughs> Don't thing, put that nothing. in the whole thing. <laughs> We're keeping it. Uh, uh, Does he still have his fringe, man? No, he has a fade. He has a fade. He's a neat, he's a, he's a neat dude. He's a grown up. He's a dime man. You know, yeah, he's a clean He's a dad now. He's a, yeah. he's a grown up. I'm just, I think I should stop saying <laughs> stuff. I'm making it worse. Okay, no um, way. That's so. what she's saying. Who influenced you? Yeah, so because You're I was a rebel. rebel I listened yeah. to a lot of Odd Future with them means I really oh, liked swag. a lot of Tyler the Creator, which yeah. is like where the creativeness comes from because I feel like he's just free and expresses mm -hmm. himself. And I'm like, I think I was in grade 10 and there was this whole thing where he told the world that he's a unicorn and you couldn't disagree he with him. He said he's a unicorn, he said he's gay, he's everything. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Literally. And the yeah. point of that is that like, we're all just human beings living the exact mm -hmm. same life. So you can't actually tell me what I what am I, or yeah. what I'm not, because how would you know? You know, exactly. I actually get a mad, I get mad like, um, Tyler the Creator vibe from I Know Dog. That's Even that dope. one music video that he has where he's just <laughs> like, dog. Like, I was like, I was like, this is so odd futurish. I yeah. get it. Yeah. I actually get it. Yeah, that's where the majority of the inspiration comes from. And then sound wise, mm -hmm. I mean, I decided to take it home. So, like, I love Oliver Mitsukuzi. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. I got to see him at Opi Kopi. I met him at Opi Kopi. Dude. That was. Opi Dude, I love festivals, guys. Yeah. Um, and with, with guys, bring heart. back mm. the festivals. We actually want to go. Yeah. yeah. We're ready. They're coming Even though back. we're like 30 now. Yeah. We're fully. Are, yeah. you gonna, uh, are you going to put us on the VIP guest list? Oh, oh do you know you're asking the questions? On yeah, you? bring the whole show. What do you guys mean? Bring the <laughs> bring, whole show. Bring, bring Moscow. Bring, bring, bring backstage. Me. Genuine. Bring, yeah. ba bring backstage. After someone performs and they come down, you guys, there must be this chair and these yeah. red cups exactly like this. Exactly. And I'm like, how did you find the festival? How's your performance? And then... There we go. Boom. Ding. There's nothing in my car. I have to cheers because <laughs> it's part of my idea too. And yeah. I hope we make yeah. some yeah. money off it. No, you're not just saying. <laughs> ka -ching. Ching, baby. Uh, I know. <laughs> Ka-ching. I didn't give you the idea for fun. I'm so dead at you. So wait, tell us about... So we know that you have you have albums or EPs that you like put out in the past. I mean, yeah. you know, African boy, she was playing one of your favorite, like the song that she likes the most. What is it called? Kotoko. Kotoko. She feels it. Yeah. A lot. She plays like it. That. Wasn't wasn't that the first one that you dropped? The first single. Uh, the, the the first song from the EP that you dropped. No, it wasn't. I think was people it? really just like that song because of like. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's it really such is a vibe. vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah. Um. The song before that was Lotto, oh. because I wrote that song for my cousin's wedding yeah. I wrote for him and his wife so I had to release it before the wedding I know you're so sentimental <laughs> man oh. you guys don't do stuff for like your cousin's wedding no we weddings. do but I'm just saying that was very sweet oh uh, but yeah. I mean the bridesmaids the African some of, some of our cousins we can't maid. eat at their houses I know you <laughs> oh child hey, hey. you guys are spicy you know hey. what I hate when we have spicy kids because there's a spice get I, I have she not given no spice like I've literally like I'm wow. right I've given this please comment in the comments <laughs> Space if I've given spice, I've not given any spice. No, he's been so sweet. We're gonna get into that. I'm mm -hmm. behaving. We're gonna get into that. Um, and then from Coco, <laughs> Coco was part of the whole thing, you know, with um, the Malawian artists that I have yeah. on it, and then the guy from Angola, Jiggy, that's with like Portuguese on it, and then mm -hmm. the SA dude. So like the idea was like African boy must be making music with other Africans, Africans. Yes. and then that's why I made that song, and then that's why that song sounds like that. Dope. And you meant to so wind your waist when you listen to that song. Yes. You gotta. You know, yes. That's where you gotta be at. Ooh. I love how we all just started winding. Right. So what ways? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. So, Shop, you have these these EPs that you have out. Mm. I know that you're dropping a new project now. What is it? Do you have it's the date? So, what's the date? Oh. Give us the, the vibes. Give us a vibe. Album. So, as part of the first EP I released, African Boy, this is part two. So, I'm doing a trilogy. I'm doing this whole thing because I changed from hip hop. So, yeah. my first EP was hip hop, and now yeah. I've changed to Afro beats and all these things. Mm -hmm. So, I want people to actually just like. Southern get in Beats, call it by its Southern name. Beats. Southern Beats. Southern Beats, uh, call see? it by its this name. So, I fucked with you guys. Um, <laughs> so, this is. Tank. Yeah, part Hashtag two. Southern Beats, watch. <laughs> Hashtag, straight up. It's going to be a vibe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, part two is exciting. I have like some cool features. I have Kevy Kev on it. Oh, yeah, Southside. 
Um, I have Janta. Rip my niggas. <laughs> Janta's like the biggest artist in Malawi. I kid you not. Like yeah. when he goes to a show, he fills up like a stadium. So I have him on it. Dope. I have this chick that I went to high school, primary school with. Her name is Kuchi Cola. She's really, really. Kuchi Cola. Ooh, I like that <laughs> name. She's so talented. She's like an R&B babe. She's like Summer Walker. She literally reminds me of Summer Walker. Yeah. And I was like, I need to put you on the on the project. Yeah. Um, there's me on it, there's Budman Dice, I can't remember. I made most of it this yeah. time. So like the first one was produced by other people. This time I've made like majority of the music. And then after this, there's a part three. And then once the trilogy is done and you can listen to it from start to finish, then I'm going to do my debut album. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. I love it. I love, I love the it. structure. The Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> <laughs> <Is that laughs> the I might call it the Dark Knight. I might call it. So it. African Boy 2 was actually meant to be out already, which mm. is why it's awkward. We only have Deja Vu <laughs> <laughs> out as a single. <laughs> um, <laughs> the only reason why it's not out is because I'm not happy with the quality of the mixing and mastering that we're okay. currently at. Mm -hmm. It's meant Such to be. Such an artist. Such an artist, yeah. right? So hopefully, the 1st of June is a Friday, right? Mm -hmm. is it? Is yeah. It? Okay. First of June. 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 First yeah. of June, it should be out. If it's not out by the first of June, then I won't lie. Everyone's gonna just be patient with me. The same way yeah. we waited, waited for Drake's CLB last yeah. year. Yeah, everybody just gotta wait with me until yeah. we are happy. Because yeah. once yeah. you release music, it's out there forever. Out there forever, yeah. and you yeah. have to be happy with it. Yeah. And Black Twitter okay, will cool. troll you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't right. want to. Okay, more. but let's let's keep keep your eyes peeled for African Voids mm -hmm. too. Yeah, yeah. I'm That's so excited. excited. The artwork, everything. You liked the one with the ma mango, right? Yeah. Yeah, this time, like, I've done something different. Oh, I can't wait. But I hope, like, you still vibe with it, and hopefully you don't do this. No, I won't do this. <laughs> we I want to do this. We bring it back to the listening party. Yeah. Oh, I yes. will. Yeah. We're having it on Africa Day, actually. When is Africa Day? Day. <laughs> Your this episode's about Africa, and now we're just not even knowing the days of Africa. Africa Day. Yeah, these Africa days day. aren't even like us. Every day is a new day. It's not a public holiday, so <laughs> that's probably why you don't know it. <laughs> Every day is a new day. Genuinely. Shake my head. <laughs> Shaking my head. What <laughs> if it's every day is not a new actually let's stop talking about me. If every day is not a new day, then what is it? So we didn't be promoting your whole album right there, whole It's a day. <laughs> it's just a day. It's a new day. Imagine it's every day is a new day. It's a new opportunity for you to try again, to wake up to be like, I got this bitch. Yeah. Let's and, go. And that's what I'm going for. I so got I got that's this. The energy. Okay. But great. every day I might say that and before the Music so comes out. Dead. Yeah. Okay, but keep our eyes peeled. So towards the end of this month, beginning of June. Okay, yeah. dope. I can't wait for that. And I'm then, um, so um, since you're five to being a celebrity. Hi, boo. Ha. Are you, um, are there any celebrity crushes that you have? Ish, had a baby girl, ne? We love you, girl. We love you, What girl. do you mean? <laughs> Are we crushing together? The, the fact that this man is on here with his zazzes, yeah. <laughs> we have necks, yeah. yeah. It's, he it just bought his own thing. Gotta bring your own vibes. <laughs> that's what it is. That's, it. that's what it is. So who's your, who's your crush? I have so <laughs> many, guys. Okay, give us it's like three. three. Okay. Um, three celebrities. I have a huge crush on Tio Savage. That's who I'm crushing on right now. Okay, makes Look sense. Like like <laughs> yeah, she has like this. I can see the twinkle in his eye from the side. <laughs> <laughs> she has like this whole vibe going on. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I really mess with that. And mm. I like, I think she's dope. I think mm. she is dope. Yeah, I'd like to go on tour with her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Yeah, and then uh, actresses, because I, I mm -hmm. want to have. I don't no, want. No, I don't want them to be musicians. Just restricting you to a thing. It could be just a random from yeah. Mexico. We don't know. Yeah. I have a weird crush on Jennifer Lawrence. Okay. Look at you. She's not impressed. <laughs> you know, just you know. It's just very it's random. Not, you know, I'm like Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, but she's beautiful and she's Oh tall. my God, she's such an acquired taste, guys. She is an acquired taste. She's, she's not, such an acquired she's taste. She's not a traditional beauty. Oh. Yeah, but like. like but she's swag. She's like swag. if I was on Hunger Games, I'd volunteer in her place. I volunteer. <laughs> I'll go for her. I'll go for I'll her. Die. I'll, I'll die. die for her. You but Musa, he'd probably push you in front of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Musa, Musa no, doesn't get why. Musa she doesn't no, get why I like guys. Jennifer Good Lawrence friends. on that tip. Like a lot of people get confused when I say this thing. But guys, she's... Because you went from Tima and then you went... 
Oh, friends. Yeah, I know. I'm into like different, different things. things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, into, like, this is like a Tyler the Creator. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay, wow. and your He's a unicorn. Crush? Your third crush? Oh, okay, cool. I only have one option left. I have so many crushes. I have to make sure this one. Like, this one has to land. I mean, there's no specific order. Yeah. We just want to know. Like, yeah. I've had the biggest crush on Babes of Dumo, guys. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I've had that. But people, I'm people, 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 people that know me. No, they don't. Don't be mad. Don't be yeah. mad, guys. People I'm, that know me understand the crush. You know, like, whoa. Please unblock me on WhatsApp, <laughs> babes. Now that we're here, please unblock me. Please. Um, I I'm apologize. Just <laughs> probably. I mean, yeah. Probably is. Look, during the when that mom picture thing happened, yeah. I sent her a text. I was like, dude. You don't need to be dealing with that. Yeah. I'm right here, babes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that's the use of babes. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he, this that, is why this thing is plucked. That's, that's the why text he I plucks said. this. And the thing is that like, I had gotten her number by mistake. And then now I have this number. And then by I text mistake. her. And she Maybe responds. She has a new number. No, she responds. So when I text her, she responds. It's like she mm. speaks to me. And then we stop speaking. And then this whole my picture thing happens. So now I'm sitting there and I'm like, girl... If only. Move to Joburg. You know I, got you. <laughs> I got Leave. you. Know I one got thing you. Fun, man, hey, when one man messes up, the we rest ready. of them, when they find out, they're like, listen, ready. I will never. Vouchers. I would never do this. Guys are ready. They're always waiting. And that's what always kills me about them. That's why I was at back then. But maybe, babes, we can be friends now. Yeah, sure. Because we fuck so for so hard, unfortunately. Sorry, babes. That little would kick your ass, dog. Oh, she would kick your ass. Ah. Give that look. <laughs> Yo, that look. Yo, boy, I'm, I'm so your dead. Soul. So but dead. I, I can't believe, I can't believe that someone would block you. I know you're such a nice guy, man. Like, surely you don't have enemies. <laughs> I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Surely you got don't a have lot actual of enemies. I, I can't believe I don't know. I'm blocked by quite a number of people. If you want to talk about that, I mean, I don't mind. But I mean, blocked versus enemies, yeah. Ah, yeah. it's the same thing. <laughs> the same thing. Whilst okay. we're on this topic, Bonang, please. Oh, oh, guys, please you don't want to me. bring that energy here. No one's trying to be sued in this bed. No, no one's going to sued. I'm asking to be unblocked. I've this been is on Twitter, on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter. On Twitter. I've been we blocked since 2012. Since any time, um, uh, uh, Yo, dog, you, you're bee, definitely please. a skeleton now. That's 10 years of me, like, I'm probably at the bottom of a... She just, doesn't even care, she doesn't mm. even care about you no more. Queen, Queen B, please, please, dude. Uh, please, for, for your please, sake. Please. The African boys are scared. The African please. boys dude, are I'm scared. actually begging. I'm actually begging. I'm um, my Nadia and Akai hasn't unblocked me yet, but we cool. She, she, can, keep, she can keep the block. I don't, she doesn't need to unblock me. I can stay blocked. <laughs> <laughs> great with me great with me and I understand why she blocked me why did she block you? I I said I said that Smashes is a better female rapper than Nadia Nokia oh, oh. yo no it's getting intense now hey it's getting I was a kid guys here's the issue people never want to speak about the stuff that they used to say yeah. that's why I went like yeah, your tweets yeah. your tweets that's would pop they up, up like, and then this is like yeah. 10 years ago it's like eight years ago you yeah. know but the issue is that i'm still blocked and now it's kind of weird because now i'm in the entertainment industry when i was tweeting this stuff i was in high school and stuff i wasn't in, in yeah. no industry <laughs> so why are you blocking the kid <laughs> you know and now like i'm out here and i'm like yo these are like my colleagues in some t- yeah. t- type of way so like yeah. guys unblock me it's peace i understand i said a lot of immature stuff that are probably offside yeah. say sorry it's important to apologize and be accountable. Okay, I'll start with Bonang. Bonang, I'm really, really sorry for making comments about your forehead when I was in matric. <laughs> I, I, I was being like an idiot kid and I didn't mean it. I think you're a really <laughs> beautiful woman. Actually, you inspire me. Mm-hmm. Bonang inspires me. I think she's like a really, really like yeah. gifted person. Like she's really good at what she does and she's smart, you yeah. know? Like I've also met her outside. She, so like I've, been around her in her space. She just and she doesn't come. She doesn't come. This is the kid that she blocked back here. <laughs> and now that I'm, I'm around in her space, because she's like, she's her cousin is like one of my closest friends. Mm-hmm. So I'm hanging out with the cousin, and then, the, you know, she ends up being there. And I'm like, this is a really, really cool person. Mm-hmm. And I was just talking nonsense, man. I, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't know you. I didn't mean what I said. And now I'm here, and I'm like, yo, I want some BNG sent to my house too, dog. <laughs> I want some house of BNG. I want to... <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I want to make a mimosa with your champagne, girl. Yeah, you know, and now oh, I'm thinking I'm drunk. I'm so I can't guys. even tag her. I can't even. I can't even tag her because I'm blocked. You know, so I'll apologize to her, mm. and that's where we'll leave it. Everybody else, catch you on the TL. <laughs> Drop a diss track if you must. <laughs> Yo, you're spicy. So spicy. You are spicy. Oh you're my so gosh, spicy. I know. I mean, yeah. So, 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 on that, like, you know how you're talking about how you were a different person eight, ten years ago, which is standard procedure. What kind of advice would you give to a young person. Yeah, a young Once person. Once get into your industry. Exactly. Ooh. Like, you know, yeah. just like, you know, let me be three pointers in here and I, you know, for countries, mm. you know. <laughs> three pointers. <laughs> okay, we can. Three po- Number one, don't chase clouds. Mm-hmm. Reason why, because clouds is like, it's, 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 an, it's a very non-tangible thing and it doesn't mean anything. Mm-hmm. Like, doing stupid things to get people to like you does not work, you know. Like, if people don't like you for being yourself, then just... They're not your people. They're not your people. They're not your people. So find your tribe. Yeah, so don't now find yourself doing extra things just so you can get a couple of likes on Instagram yeah. or a couple of retweets, you know. Uh, it's not worth it. Especially, like, in music. Specifically in music. It's really, really not. You'll it get means blocked. <laughs> All that. <laughs> I wasn't chasing clouds. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're but just being spicy. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was just speaking my mind. Yeah. Um, another one would be... Um, here's how I view the world, right? I feel like... People, you know, you get told everything, you know. Yeah. Let's like, oh, be a makeup artist because you're great at drawing and you're great at, And so, like, then, you know, like, people are always telling you what to do and you never come up with any original thoughts from yourself yeah. because it's always like, you know, Brit thinks I'm really good at this, so I should become this. Or yeah. My, you know. Yeah, you use other people to yeah. determine your limit. Yeah, like you know, limit. my yeah, mom said that. I must be an accountant. My dad said I must do this. Mm. My girlfriend really likes when I'm like this. When I'm like, and... At the, end, <clears throat> at the end of the day, you never bring out anything that's original about you mm-hmm. or anything that's authentic about you. So, like, always just try to have, like, an original think, like, mindset. Because yes. at the end of the day, we're all just human beings, guys. Yeah. We're not more than that, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. like, I'm able to do what you're able to do and you're able to do what I'm able to do. Yeah. There's nothing that makes me better than you. There's nothing that makes mm-hmm. me more special than you. We're literally the same people. Mm-hmm. Um, but where you become weaker than me is the moment you start treating yourself inferior by mm-hmm. putting on other people's thoughts and ideas onto yourself. Mm-hmm. You don't have to become what I think you should become. Become. Look at how wise you are. Deep. Oh, shame. This guy's deep, dog. I've had so many fudge deep conversations with him. You know? <laughs> and we get deep and we're like, just, I forget, I forget how yeah. wise he actually is. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm seeing you during the day. <laughs> and we only see each other in the evening. <laughs> the evening. Is that it? Yeah. Is that the advice that you have? Is there anything? And, and then the last one, one is that like, be true to where you, you're from. And it's like mm-hmm. the biggest lesson that I have. Like, if I ever, if people ask me, like, oh, in your journey or whatever, whatever, like, what's the biggest thing? The moment I became true to myself, that's when I saw things start, like, started happening for mm-hmm. me. Um, my music career became better. People started regarding me as an artist. Um, I started working with, like, a whole lot of different artists. I've, I'm in a better place than I was when I wasn't being authentic about where I came from. So, like, mm-hmm. I'm really proud to be from Zim. And I've always been. Love it's yes, not like I'm not proud of it. Mm-hmm. I've always been but I've always shied away from it because I was trying to do all these other things. But the moment I accepted that and I became true to that, mm. like I started making, I mean, I never learned how to read and write in Shona, mm. you know, but I make Shona music and I write my songs in Shona as well. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. yeah, but that only happened like in 2020. You know what I'm saying? Like it's never yeah, too late. Never too late. Like yeah. It's never too late. That's, that's, very, exactly that's very, that's very, very right. true. That's very true. Yeah. So if I think like with those three things, I don't see why you have any reason to lose. Damn, that's that's wis- that, that is some wisdom. You know, um, also, just before we do our last thoughts, right? Final thoughts. <laughs> final Jerry's thoughts. Final Jerry's final thoughts. Jerry's final thoughts. Kimang Jay. Jerry. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want some beans? I think you're not getting beans in this bitch. You want some beans? Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Wow, you have to get there. Um, I was watching your stories and I saw that your sister came pulled through for the Vic Falls and Don Don, which was pretty dope. Yeah. Um, so you know how in, in Zim it's always based on you being academically fit. Um, mm. for like that's the culture that yeah. the parents also like instill on you. You have to do your A levels, your O levels. Yeah. You either need to study to become a lawyer or a CA or a CFA, yep. basement banking type of situation. 
you are completely different yeah. from that. Yeah. How how did your parents support you? Were there any issues with that? Like, what was the vibe? There were definitely issues. Yeah. But now that like I'm a bit older, I'm like I get it. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not mad, mom, yeah. dad. I'm not mad. Yeah. I'm not upset at anyone. Yeah. Um, but it's tricky, you know. And like I'm saying to you that mm. you. The world is telling you what to do all the time. Yeah. And the moment you think of anything that's like different, everyone gets mad at you. Mm. People get upset at you. I mean, like I do have family members that don't treat me the same way anymore, or like they don't speak to me the same way anymore. They're not mm. calling me. They're not checking up on me. They're not inviting me to stuff anymore because they're like, ah, oh, this guy's a rebel and he became this entire thing. Mm. Yeah. I'm not mad. I don't hold grudges. You know, yeah. we're all just human beings. But the. The thing about being from Zim and this entire thing mm. of like Zim has this mentality that people must be educated. Mm. They're very right. They're correct. I get where they're coming from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Especially with the country's history. Yeah, yeah, with the country's history. And it's very important that you know you mm. further yourself and you just become. But if you know yourself and you know what you want to do, don't be shy. Don't be scared. And don't limit yourself into becoming. You're going to become miserable, you know. I listen to my dad. My dad is like, he studied science and he did chemistry and all that stuff. And... He was great, he's a top-notch student. And then one day he's upset and he's hacked and he's like, yeah, but I no longer want to do that, I want to do this. Life changes and yeah. there's many changes. options Life that you changes. have. Yeah, 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 definitely. That's dope. That's, That's really dope. dope. You know, I think to, to what Anna was saying, okay, yeah, well, this is a question. Well, it's not, it's my last, it's our final thoughts. Uh-huh. And I think it's to what Anna was saying now, is like, dude, it's so important to be like free in your mm-hmm. mind before you, you you're not going to be free physically if you're not free mentally do you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah and i saw a quote the other day um that said you know insignificant things or what we think are unimportant mm. is actually what moves the world forward yeah and i think the quote was around summer rain is more effective to the globe as opposed to a hurricane but it doesn't get the same clouds or it doesn't get the same sp- like spectacle as a hurricane do you know what i'm saying yeah Yeah. and that just sat with me and i'm like damn 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 i mean some marines aren't destroying anyone's house do you know what i'm saying they're not they're not yeah i fool you but i i I guess i get that because it means that chaos nothing nothing good comes from 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 chaos yeah Yeah, literally just because something is prominent doesn't mean that it is something that is like it's that like gives life yes, yeah it doesn't give life yeah. just because you're a celebrity doesn't mean you have integrity for instance or yep. just because <laughs> that's why when you guys Sorry. be pulling them out on the tl and people Sorry. are not like get it no but you're right because yeah you know and like <laughs> shit <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said it. We yeah. hear now. I said it. I said yeah. yeah. And then they get shocked when you calling them out for like their actions or their behaviors, and they thinking they had the rights to get away with it mm-hmm. because you're like a celebrity. Like it doesn't change anything, you Dude, know. You're still a human. You're still, and we're all we're still humans. humans. Yeah. And that's like the biggest thing for me. I'm just like everyone. Are, I try. It's, it's not like a thought I've always had in my head. Mm-hmm. You know, I've only like jumped onto that this kind of thinking recently. Mm-hmm. But like in the moment, I, it, I like you know when the light bulb hits, mm-hmm. I'm like, but we all like we all eat, we all sleep, we all pee, we all shit, we all cough, we all get COVID. Yeah. Uh. You know, we all lose <laughs> not people. Not brown here. <laughs> we all lose people. We all had yeah. to vaccinate. We all had to. So I'm like, no, but we're all the same thing. So this mentality of thinking that you're different or, or you're, you're better than someone. It's not, it's, it's not real. It's not. It's not real. Yeah, yeah. What are your final thoughts or your my I feel like we need, we need that banner. <laughs> we need a banner. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry, I'd like some Jerry beans. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my brother used to live for that part. So I was like, this is big. I ain't no way. He's just Today's. waiting. waiting. <laughs> Yo, um, my final thoughts. I, for me, my final thoughts, I would say, is um, stay true to yourself. Be authentic. Do you, Like, literally, do you. You know, um, there is... N- there is no one who's going to be better at mm. doing what you do than who you are. You know what I'm saying? And like, literally, don't like he said, don't chase clout. Don't chase. Li- literally, don't chase clout. It's There's not no worth need. it. It's not worth it. Clout only exists on apps, exactly. and those apps are free. Exactly. Just always remember that. And those, <laughs> and, and, and also like you <laughs> could burn, you could burn like proper bridges mm. just because you're doing some stupid shit. Because so you're not if being people like a, exactly. a good person, yeah. to so if else. people don't like you for who you are, then fuck them, dog. Find your tribe. Find your people. Honestly, straight up. 
yeah, I agree with that. Someone said something in, in like towards the clouds comments. They were like, dude, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, and Zola 7 was giving out SIM cards and making people's dreams come true. You wouldn't think he'd be where he is right now. Exactly. Yeah. So clouds really is not, doesn't it give means nothing. Nothing. It's it's not this, this, it means nothing. It's not a, people treat it like it's a currency. It's a drug, guys. Jay Z said it's a drug. It's a drug. It's yeah. not a currency. It's not a currency, but Definitely people treat not. it like it is. They treat yeah. like, oh, because I have clouds, I need to get in front of the line. Do you not think that mm-hmm. people confuse clout with social capital? Yes, I was, I was and, literally going to say that. And that's the, the, the mistake. Yeah. And because being like a person that's out there socially, it's not like I'm saying to you, like it's available on free apps. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can get Instagram, you can get your Twitter, you can get a thousand followers. You, can, mm. you know what I mean? Like you can either decide to post this traps the entire day, they yeah. get a million followers. I promise you, there's some dude who's not even on this. You know, like <laughs> big, the dude. yeah, there's someone that's not even on this, and that person Living. is probably like doing the most with life. They living their life. They're not even aware of this entire world yeah. that you exist on on the internet, and they it means nothing to that person. Like mm-hmm. I can't come to you and be like, oh my god, this person liked my post. You're gonna be like, okay, so what does that mean? Did they pay your bills? Exactly. Do they help you with your medical aid? Zero. And like that's where it comes down to like one of my favorite sayings and it's from um, a ZHU song where they where he says, Life is all about you and not all about you. Both conflicting statements are true. Mm. Yeah. Because like it's not but all not about you yes. as a sense on attention, it's but it's, it's about, about you. you. Because it's your life mm. at the mm. same time. So I think we must just understand that. Yeah, you know what facts. I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. Definitely. Do you want to imagine? Give us a lasting impression. <laughs> lasting impression. I've given so many thoughts and I've said so much on this episode. Okay. It's like a lasting impression for people to like... You know, or you can say some dumb know. shit. Do you? Do you? Boo-boo? I'm not gonna say some dumb shit. I'm not gonna say some dumb shit. Yeah. Don't bring up my fringe. <laughs> Number one, it's impossible for men to have sharpers. Ah! <laughs> Let's start there. Yo, right? This is a direct attack at me. Sharpers are not a thing for men. Men have bums. They are obviously not like this unless you toss her. <laughs> But with the hips also, it's yeah. Always. For the rest of us that are just like this, man, <laughs> it's not called a swapper. Huh? You 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 are fine the way you are. Do not let these don't let these ladies be making fun of you, calling you an ironing board, and asking you what do you sit on. You don't have a swapper. Huh? Are you gonna do next time? We're gonna make you do a tipa tipa challenge, okay? We're gonna do the London <laughs> challenge. You right know what? Now. Next time, yeah. at least I know I'm gonna come back, and <laughs> you guys better bring me back, and I'm gonna be prepared. We're bringing you back, don't worry. I'm gonna worry. be prepared. I'm gonna do some squats and have my glutes up. <laughs> Let's come and do the white. I said, you know, you know, you're gonna keep finding like a small bump that just goes. You're gonna come through with one of those white little rugby shorts. <laughs> yes, yes, that's actually what I need to do to let you guys know I got Not some bad. ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not you guys. <laughs> Not you guys. And yeah. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, wait. This is my real closing statement. Okay, yeah. Oh, so that wasn't it. <laughs> no, it's Damn not. Me. African Boy 2 is coming out real soon. Make sure you listen to it. If you haven't heard African Boy Part 1, it's available on all digital platforms. Mm-hmm. I go by the name of Fake Ano, which is the word fake, and then my name, A-N-O, which is short for Ano mm-hmm. uh, Where can they find you on the socials? Put those two words together, fake Ano, mm-hmm. and then put an underscore if it's Instagram. Don't put anything if it's Twitter and Facebook, and you will find me. Uh, you guys not going to ask me why I'm called fake Ano? Actually, you can just tell us. <laughs> it's actually to ask you. you actually I've never you actually thought who about are that. You? Yeah, yeah, we but asked you to tell us who you are. We gave but you the you platform, We gave darling. you the platform, darling. Imagine. Okay, so then why the fake? Because I was trying to log on to Twitter for the first time, mm-hmm. and I put the real Ano, and that was already taken. So, so you the fake so Anno. Okay. Anno. Because there's an yeah. Anno out there somewhere else. <laughs> and I'm going to find Anno. you and I'm going to take my name back. No, I'm lying. Um, fake because I feel like everyone calls themselves the real whatever, whatever, because mm. they're being real, but then they're not being real, especially like online, yeah. like the thing we just spoke about. Damn. So it's like the opposite. Yo, um, spicy. No, but I get it. <laughs> I love it. It is spicy. For someone that says spicy so much, do you even cook, bro? That's where we end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> she bakes. I know that. Bitch, I bake. Yeah, she definitely bakes. No shame, bakes. I can't cook, but do I want to cook? I don't have to cook. Just like what you said. I don't have to try and fit in the stereotype of uh, I cook. I, cooking I, is not I a love st- to clean. Cleaning gives me Cooking is not a stereotype. But some people no, don't know how to clean. I mean, cook. You know, some people and don't know. Yeah, shame, I can cook, but do I so like cooking? Clean. I don't like it. I like baking. I like cleaning. Yeah. And she likes making toasted sandwiches. 
And I'm not sure I can cook, but do yeah. I cook? I've I never, don't want I've to. I've never eaten her food. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, I'm we're not going to talk about the last time we were at the house. Am I mac and cheese? Yeah. You're crying. Oh, shit. Her mac and cheese is dope. It's hard to not get... Okay, you know what? <laughs> no, shame. Mine is different. Ask her. Thanks for having Mine me, Mine is guys. different. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> mac, we're going to give you props for mac and cheese. Shame, no, let me cook for you guys one day, but I feel like it's a one-day thing. I don't. I feel like I don't want it to be a, like attached to my name, like, oh, no, she's a good hand. She cooks. No. So Brits has invited us for, for, for dinner. For dinner. Next week, Wednesday. Um, no, I love how you guys are putting timelines, bitch. I'm busy. What? Seven. I'm busy. We need a camera. We need to film this. I'm busy. I'll be so da. Actually, we're going to do the entire episode <laughs> at Britain. <laughs> Britain's house. Brit- 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 in, in the kitchen. Brit- 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 in the kitchen. Cook it. Cook it. You know, the last time I baked for these hoes, right? They're like, oh, this thing is burning. Oh, no, whatever. Gana, <laughs> they take the heat, they bring the cake. I'm like, let me even dish up for these hoes. I put it together with the ice cream, whatever. Yo, I need some more. Oh, my God, it's so, deli- ah. it's so delicious. It's so soft. Was it that nice? It was really that good, Shem. It really was. So but uh, probably on the next episode, you'll find Brit Brad in the kitchen. No but more. thank you guys so much you, Anno, for you tuning in. Want to take yeah. us out? Awesome. Thank me. you guys. I'm so glad you guys brought me here. I'm so glad I was here. I do no longer think that this is the worst show ever. I think it's now good. <laughs> <laughs> Verified. Verified. Peace out. Masterful. <laughs>